Greetings and thank you so much for listening. Today, I wanted to tell you guys about an experiment that my mom and I did over the last four days. She, I, of course, as soon as I made a video talking about how she reversed her type 2 diabetes, that's when things started falling apart a bit. Um, it's not that her numbers were extremely high, but we kept getting something like 180, 150, 190. It was, her numbers seemed to be all over the place and she was tracking them. She had started tracking them because she noticed what, that your morning numbers were getting higher. Uh, it, it would go up during the day, up, 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 and it wouldn't, it wouldn't lower at all. And it was higher in the morning than usual. So now after about four days of frustration and us trying to pinpoint what in the world was raising her blood sugar. I mean, because what would happen is she, uh, for example, she would have some scrambled eggs, some cheese and some coffee with heavy cream, and it would be spot on perfect. The next day she'd have scrambled eggs, cheese, coffee and heavy cream and it would be 160 and we're like what in the world how are we getting these weird numbers so I mean thinking about it she's got some other health issues and it's like okay well uh, she could go back on insulin and we talked about it and we prayed about it and mom oh and I mean I I agreed with her it seemed odd that God had led her to get off the insulin in the first place. It seemed odd that God would want her to get back on insulin. So we prayed about it. And then I said, you know what? Here's what we'll do. The ultimate elimination diet. I said, for one full day, you just have butter and eggs. Nothing else. No coffee. Um, no gum. Um, no cough drops. No Tums. Nothing else except for butter and eggs. And then that would be it. And I said... The thing is, if something was wrong with her system, because that's what we were thinking with the other health problems that she has, it's possible that her body was just giving out and everything was going to raise her blood sugar. So we said, okay, if it goes up with the butter and eggs, then we know that something's wrong with her system. If it doesn't, and, and I mean, if it, if it shows that, then fine, she goes back on insulin. But if she gets good numbers, then we go on to the next day and see what happens. So I just want to go over the numbers for the first day. Uh, she first checked her blood sugar after breakfast. It was 131. After lunch, it was 134. And before she went to bed, it was 90. Now, my mom hadn't seen 90 in a long time. So we were thrilled. We said, you know what? We believe that this is God telling us that it's not the food. And let's see what we can add in next. So day two, we added in one more thing, which was coffee. No cream in the coffee. And I mean, she doesn't add sweetener to the coffee anyway, but so it was eggs, butter, and coffee. And she was putting some butter in her coffee. Let me tell you what her numbers were. When she got up in the morning, she was at a 79. That's also a number that she has like never, ever seen. After breakfast, it was 97. After lunch, it was 103. After dinner, it was 85. So we said, okay, things are going very, very well. This is great. Day three, we added in the cream. After breakfast, 89. After lunch, 73. After dinner, 81. Now she has to take a medicine called lactulose. Um, it's part of taking care of her cirrhosis. It helps clean the toxins out of her system because otherwise she gets some pretty awful brain fog because her liver isn't functioning the way it should. Now, I had been worried that lactulose was raising her blood sugar because lactulose is a sugar. It is a form of sugar. However, that day three, she took lactulose after her lunch and she still got a 73. That was pretty profound. So yeah, we were really excited about that. So I told her day four, add the cheese back in. And then if she got a good reading after having cheese with her breakfast, then have a regular rest of the day eating all the normal foods that she normally would. So sure enough, uh, she to, today is day four. 
She had some sharp cheddar with her breakfast, and her after-breakfast reading was 107. Her first morning reading was 89, and then after lunch, it was 106. Now, she hasn't taken her blood sugar yet from after dinner. It's still a little bit early, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's going to be fine. So I'm going to have my mom describe what her day was kind of like before we started this diet and what she's learned through this process, like things that she needed to change. Yeah, I uh, I was getting kind of frustrated because I, I didn't know what was bringing my sugar up all the time. But I was actually constantly putting stuff in my mouth. Uh, I would put a cough drop in my mouth to suck or I would chew some gum or, you know, something to keep and eat ice with uh, soda. I mean, I, I would put ice in soda and chew the ice. Diet soda. Yeah, diet soda. And um, I stopped all of that and uh, I, I was so frustrated. And me and Janelle were talking about it and... What brought it up was Nick said, you know, your mom might need to have a little insulin here and there. And I thought about it and I thought, well, God, you know, you took me off insulin. You told me no more, no more insulin. And I obeyed and I haven't been on insulin for about two years now. And so... I, t I told Janelle, I said, you got to help me. I said, we got, we're going to see what, what it is. And she's the one that came up with, okay, first day, uh, just eggs and butter. And then the second day, eggs, butter, and coffee, no cream. And my numbers started going down. I was really surprised, but I knew it just kept coming back to me why I was getting such high numbers, but I was constantly putting things in my mouth. So I had to stop that. I had to reach for water instead of what I was usually eating or, you know, drinking. And the only thing, once in a while, I would drink the soda, but not, you know, the diet soda. But um, now I know that, uh, you know, it doesn't help my sugar because it makes my liver constantly put out the insulin to fight it and produce more. And it doesn't know what to do with the sugar. So it just keeps adding up. So that's, that's what happened. So I am so glad because God helped me to realize exactly what it was. I asked him to show me and he did. So I just wanted to say, like, I know not everyone out there is a Christian, um, and that's all right. I'm, we're just sharing our story and uh, what happened. And I'm thankful, too. I know that God, he got us on this diet in the first place, and we know he is our creator. He knows what we need to eat. He knows what we need to stay away from. He knows what's going to be best for our systems. And everyone's different. So I don't, like... Mom's got certain boundaries. I've got certain boundaries and we have to stay in those boundaries in order to feel our best. So anyway, that is all for today. Thank you so much for listening. Mom, you want to say goodbye? She's got a mouthful of water. <laughs> About to make her spit. <laughs> I think she's got it. You good? Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.